What's going on, YouTube, man? Welcome back to another video. Now, before we jump into today's video, brother, you should have know what you should have been did, man. Like, comment, and subscribe. We're trying to save the world. We're trying to save as many people as we can. So make sure you hit that post notification bell so you don't get that post nut clarity, my guy. Now, listen. As you can see by today's title, brother, we talking about why lust will be your downfall. I repeat, why lust will be your downfall, brothers. This is why you got me and other men out here preaching semen retention. This is why we go so hard with retention, brothers. Because of the number one thing, lust. And it's not just men who don't have their lust under control. You got women who don't have their lust under control as well. You know, a lot of people be thinking it's only men who struggle with porn addiction and, you know, all these lustful things. But women struggle with these things as well, brothers. Believe it or not, women struggle with these things as well. Women be having all types of fantasies and all that type of stuff. So listen, man, lust, this is something I had to learn on my own because... I realized that whenever you're in such a lustful state of mind, whenever you're trapped in your lust, brothers, this could really ruin your life. You know, I remember when I used to always, you know, release my seed, when I was always on the sites, I would always feel messed up. Like I felt so drained. I felt, you know, I felt depleted in our sexual energy is one of the most powerful things that us humans possess, our sexual energy. So when you're just toying with your sexual energy, you're going to feel depleted. And I know a lot of y'all can relate to this as well because when you used to release to the sites on the hub and stuff, you would feel you would feel low, you would feel so bad, you know? Like you 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 wouldn't feel good about yourself. And that's because you was in such a lustful state. You wanted to you wanted to release your 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 essence so bad to where you dropped everything else just to get that dopamine high. That's lust right there. You know, lust can really ruin families, relationships. You know, lust can ruin a lot of things, man. And this is why I'm starting to see in today's generation. You know, I know out there somewhere, there's a man cheating on his wife right now as I'm speaking. There, I know somewhere in this world, there's multiple men who's married with kids who are cheating on their wife right now. And it's all because of lust. And it's not just men, like I said. I know there's out there somewhere, there's women out there cheating on their men, on their, on their husband. All because of lust, brothers. This is why lust is going to lead to your downfall. When you don't have your lower head, when you don't have your your yourself under control, when you don't have that self-control, that is going to lead you to destructive things because you're always going to want to feed the flesh. You know, one thing I learned while on this journey is that our flesh is never satisfied. It's never satisfied. Why do you think sometimes even when you eat a certain amount of food, you still might be hungry afterwards? That's because the flesh is never satisfied, brothers. Why do you think when you used to release your seed to the hub, you would always want to keep going? You know, you ever heard of someone releasing 11 times to the hub or however many times they release? That's all lust right there, man. A lot of men out here simping over these OnlyFans models, dropping their last dollar on, on some pleasure. That is what we call lust, man. And that's what's going to lead to your downfall. A lot of men don't realize it, but they're causing more harm to themselves when they're like, for example, spending their last dollar just to, just to have some pleasure from a, a woman who's for the streets. You know, a lot of men can easily go out and cheat on their wife 
with with some woman who's not good for them all because of lust all because of how she looks oh she got the nice body so i, I want to go fornicate with her oh she got the nice body and the only way she's gonna give give herself up is if i pay you know that's just lust lust is a demonic spirit brothers Whenever you, you know, when you get those urges, those, those lustful urges, that is a demonic spirit trying to tempt you into releasing your seed. That is a stronghold on your body, man. That's a stronghold right there. Whenever you can't control yourself, that is a stronghold on your mind and your body, man. The fact that you got people out here cheating on their husband or you got people cheating on their wife. That is that that's not that's not how we should be living, man. The fact that you're willing to risk your whole entire marriage just to go fornicate with someone else on the side who you're not in marriage with. The fact that you're willing to do that it set, it speaks numbers, man. It shows you how corrupted people's minds are. This is why I preach semen retention. This is why you shouldn't be watching these sites, man. Because these sites, whenever you're indulging in pornography, is programming your mind to just sexualize everything you see. Whenever, you know, whenever I used to be on the on the sites a lot, everything would be sexualized more easier. Like you can see the most simplest thing and you would just sexualize it in your mind. You know, a, a female or you can just see any random situation and you'll just play out something dirty in your mind. That is lust, man. And that's what is going to lead to your downfall. You know, people who are who are willing to, to drop their last dollar, man, people out here dropping their last dollar can't even feed themselves or their family, but they willing to go pay a prostitute or something like that. They willing to pay a subscription just to watch some women getting piped out by somebody else. Like brothers, man, we have to do better. <laughs> we have to do better. It's just, it's like we're, we're mind, our minds are so, are, is corrupted. Lust has corrupted the minds of many. So, so some people are so far gone, they don't realize how lust is really controlling them and ruining their lives and they and the relationships. A lot of people don't even realize it. A lot of people just so caught up in, you know, just doing things just because, just because it feels good, just for the temporary pleasures. But they don't realize how it's affecting the, themselves and the people around them. They don't realize that. For example, a, a, a man who's married to his wife with kids, if he's cheating on his wife, he don't realize that he doesn't care that, you know, if his wife find out. He, he clearly doesn't care if his wife find out that he's cheating, because if he cared, he wasn't he wouldn't be doing it in the first place. He doesn't truly care about his his family, brothers. A man who's who's a man who's going to put his whole family on the line just for some pleasures. He doesn't really care. He doesn't care how his kids view him. He don't care about none of that. All he's thinking about is just smashing the next chick just because she looks good. And that is going to lead to your downfall, man. And I had to stop chasing behind women. I had to stop chasing women who wasn't serving me. I had to stop giving my, my attention to women who weren't really doing much for me. Because I realized if I kept doing that, all I, I would have been in a cycle. You know, I would have been a constant cycle, a never ending cycle. A never ending cycle where I wouldn't truly be happy because I'm constantly looking for the next high, for the next pleasure, for the next woman I can release to. And that would have ruined me. That would have led to my downfall. And I think that is why the Most High God, all praises to the Most High God, I think that is why the Most High God 
allowed me to find out about semen retention. Because if it wasn't for semen retention, I would have been lost. I would have been lost. I would have still been chasing behind, you know, women. Still doing low vibrational things. I would have still been trapped in my lust. For sure, I would have still been on the sites. Still ruining my life feeling worthless you know and a lot of people who are trapped in their lust they know what they're doing is wrong deep down they know what they're doing is wrong but still yet yeah, they still gonna do it because they don't have the spirit of god within them and that's the root of the issue y'all have to take control of these lustful desires man not not everything needs to be sexualized brothers you know, I, I know it's being thrown at us on an everyday basis, but not everything needs to be sexualized. Not every woman needs to be sexualized. And, you know, it's social media, the sites, all of these things play a part. But as men, we have to take our power back with semen retention. See, on semen retention, you'll, you'll no longer have these lustful thoughts. On semen retention, you, you're not going to want to cheat on your wife. Just because you're not gonna want to do none of that, because what purpose is that is that giving you? That's only going to, that's only gonna lead into heartbreak, unnecessary issues. You know what I'm saying? So, brothers, man, it's important to not be caught up in this thing called lust, because it will ruin you, it will drain you. It might lead it might lead you to doing things that you will regret. And before you know it, it's it's all going to be too late. So listen man, that was my video for today. I hope you guys took something valuable from this video. If you learned anything new from this video, make sure to drop a like down below. You know what I'm saying? Share the video with a friend. Comment your thoughts and opinions down below. And don't forget to subscribe, man. Listen, I'll catch you in the next one, and I'm out.